all you have to do is highlight all the cells. So even though I don't have grades in here yet, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of these so that it works as I continue to add more grades. And the next thing I want to do is come up to format and choose conditional formatting. And it's going to open a sidebar. By default, now that I have selected my range already before opening this, it's already set. But you can change this if you need to. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply the format rules. By default, it starts off if it's not empty, it's going to turn the cell green. Well, that's not what we want to do, but we can change this very quickly. Click the drop down and you'll see all of the options here. So this should really open up the possibilities for you of what conditional formatting can do. So I want if the number inside that cell is less than 70. We're just going to go with 70 for a passing grade. I want it to change that cell to this pink, say light red color. I, I like to do this. It's a little bit easier on the eyes than choosing the bright, bright red. And then I click done. And so now these formatting rules will highlight exactly who failed this assignment.